Welcome to 2021 at Darangal Primary School. Our newsletters this year are going to be aimed to be EMU News and to be live. It also means that the students will be able to be involved in this too. Our videos will be available on Facebook and they'll also be available on the school website. COVID restrictions. New restrictions came into enforce in Victoria on the 4th of February. At this stage, we don't know how long they're going to last, but it should only be for a few days, I would think. The new restrictions as far as the education department is concerned mean that we must wear a mask when we're out inside a school building. Outside, in the grounds, parents picking up students at the front gate are not affected as far as the school is concerned. Staff have to wear a mask as do parents and visitors while they're inside the school building. Staff don't have to wear a mask while they're actually teaching students. The curriculum at Durangal gets divided into different areas. The areas are literacy or English, mathematics, arts, languages, which we do Italian, health and PE, and then integrated studies. At Durangal, integrated studies for this year will be focusing on geography, history, and science. Literacy or English gets divided into three areas, reading, writing, and speaking and listening. Mathematics is also divided into three areas, number and algebra, measurement and geometry, statistics and probability. For this week, our focus in literacy for both reading and writing is narratives, learning all about books that are made up, stories, and how they're constructed, the parts of them. Mathematics this week for number and algebra, we're looking at counting, and place value. For measurement and geometry, we're looking at time, especially calendars, months, years, seasons, that sort of thing. We're not doing statistics and probability in this week. Visual arts is delivered by our specialist art teacher, Miss Sue Cowan. Sue comes to us once a fortnight for an hour and a half lesson on a Tuesday afternoon. Our other specialist this year is Miss Fiona Smith. Fiona is our library teacher. She also comes to us once a fortnight and it's also a Tuesday afternoon. So every Tuesday afternoon, the students will either have library or they will have art. Both Italian and music are delivered to us online through our WebEx system. Italian is taught by Senior Acca, who is a qualified Italian teacher and music is taught through the Music Bus program, which comes to us from Queensland. The students get half an hour of both of these and the other content is backed up through school. In your child's home practice scrapbook, you'll find there's the QR code for Seesaw. I ask that you please download the parent app so that you can log in and see what your child's been doing in class through our Seesaw app. Each of our students this year has a home practice book. They will actually have two books. This is book one. Book two will have book two written on the front. It's got different pictures. The home practice book is used for communication with parents and also reading records. And if we need to send any sort of, can you please finish this or practice for the students? Please have a look in your home practice book. There's some information in the front cover and it also has your Seesaw code. In Seesaw, I've put a video about the home practice book with a full explanation for you. Please let me know if you can't get access to that video. Okay, now, this is a picture of you and this is what? What are you holding? Oh. Your artwork from this week. Okay, who'd you do the artwork with? Miss 
Miss Cowan. All right. And do you call her Miss Cowan or do you call her something else? Do you remember? Do you call her Miss C? Miss C. Miss C. Here we call her Miss C. We don't have to call You can call her Miss Cowan if you want to. It's still polite. All right. What is that a picture of? Um, my face. You? It's a picture of you. Do you remember what we call it when you do a picture of yourself? We call it a self... Selfie. It's been like a selfie. It's a self-portrait, it's called. And you drew it. Do you remember the artist style that it was in? It was by a very funny artist, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you remember his name? No, that's right. His name is Picasso. And that's what Picasso. So where is that picture at home now? Um, at my... I'm um, in the front room. Ooh, on the wall or somewhere? Or where is it? Um, or just on the floor and everyone stands on it? Um, it's on the floor. <gasps> right. And no one stands on it there. Oh, where are you going to put it? Um, How about hanging on the wall? Or are you just going to leave it on the floor? Just leave it on the floor. I'll leave it on the floor. Okay, thank you. All right. Tell me all about this wonderful picture and what's happening in it. So the um, hair is blue and yellow. And one ear is big and one ear is small. Why is one ear big and one ear small? Because on you, when I look at you, your ears are the same size. So why in the picture do you have a big ear and a small ear? Because if I look at you straight, if one, your, your other ear is kind of like him, kind of like him, small, and the other one's big. Ah, and this is a special picture, isn't it? Because it's yes. sort of like two angles in one. Yeah. All right. So in this picture, which parts, or how are you looking at the head? So the, um, so the yellow side is the one looking at you and the red side is the one looking, looking on the side of Ah, cool. Yeah. Right. And do you remember the name of the artist who this, who you... Picasso. That's right. Do you know where Picasso's from? No. Where do you think he might be from? Mm. Do you think he's from Australia? Don't know? Oh, we'll have to find that out. We'll see where he might be from. Miss C didn't tell you that piece of information? Yes. She didn't tell you? All right, is there anything else you'd like to tell me about this wonderful drawing? I made him have a green neck. Ah, you said him. Who is that picture? Me. Oh, it's you. Right, and where is the picture now in your house? Um, in my room, on the floor. Um, are you on the floor too? <laughs> Do you stand on yourself? No. You don't stand on yourself. I am. Um, I, I just put it in my um, under my bed. Oh, right. Okay. Thank you for that. All right, fellas. What's the best new thing that's happened this year so far? We got a, we got a new we got a Lego table. Tell me about the Lego table, please. So you can. Um, Make a world like on it. Right. And why is this really good? We can um, play Lego and like, so not on the floor in case if we um, lose some bits. Right. Is there anything else that's really good about it? We build our own ships. Your own ships? Where's your ship? Um, right here. Tell me about the ship. Um, so we got, so we got wings, booster. So we got some three boosters, uh, four boosters, four boosters because there's a booster here. So this is, so this is my escape pod. And how to make it dry is this. You have to put the wheels back on. And you don't, and you don't break it. 
Let's put it back. Just do this. And it's a jet skin. Thank you for showing us and telling us about your Lego table.